Osteopenia, Wikipedia article audio. Osteopenia is a condition in which bone mineral density is lower than normal. It is considered by many doctors to be a precursor to osteoporosis. However, not every person diagnosed with osteopenia will develop osteoporosis. More specifically, osteopenia is defined as a bone mineral density T-score between 1.0 and 2.5. Causes Diagnosis Treatment Etymology Like osteoporosis, osteopenia occurs more frequently in postmenopausal women as a result of the loss of estrogen. It can also be exacerbated by lifestyle factors such as lack of exercise, excess consumption of alcohol, smoking, or prolonged use of glucocorticoid medications. It can also be a result of exposure to radiation. Osteopenia occurs more frequently in participants in non-weight-bearing sports like bicycling or swimming than in participants in weight-bearing sports like powerlifting and running since bone loading exercise tends to protect or possibly increase bone mineral density. In particular, the condition is often noted in young female athletes. It is one of the three major components of female athlete triad syndrome, along with amenorrhea and disordered eating. Female athletes tend to have lower body weight, lower fat percentage, and higher incidence of asthma than their less active peers. A chronic negative energy balance can suppress estrogen levels and decrease bone mineral density. It is also a sign of normal aging, in contrast to osteoporosis which is present in pathologic aging. Osteopenia is also a common effect of celiac disease, even among patients who are otherwise asymptomatic. Scans of bones anywhere in the body can be done with X-rays, known as DEXA. Scans can also be done with portable scanners using ultrasound, and portable X-ray machines can measure density in the heel. A study paid for by Merck found that the extent to which osteopenia was diagnosed varied from 28 to 45 percent, depending on the type of machine. Merck was active in promoting deployment of cheaper scanners to be used on extremities, so that they could be used more widely. However, the clinical utility of these scans compared to scans of core portions of the body is disputed. The treatment of osteopenia is controversial. Currently, Candidates for therapy include those at the highest risk of osteoporotic bone fracture based on bone mineral density and clinical risk factors. As of 2008, recommendations from the U.S. National Osteoporosis Foundation are based on risk assessments from the World Health Organization Fracture Risk Assessment Tool. According to these recommendations, Consideration of therapy should be made for postmenopausal women, and men older than 50 years of age, if any one of the following is present. When medical therapy is pursued, treatment includes medications with a range of actions. Commonly used drugs are bisphosphonates, including alandronate, risdronate, and ibandronate, selective estrogen receptor modulators such as raloxifene estrogen, calcitonin, and teriparatide. Studies have shown that the actual benefits of these drugs may be marginal. Approximately 270 women with osteopenia might need to be treated with drugs for three years so that one of them could avoid a single vertebral fracture. Strontium ronelate has been approved in 27 European countries having been found to build bone both by slowing the work of osteoclasts and by stimulating osteoblasts. On January 10, 2014, the European Pharmacovigilance Risk Assessment Committee recommended that strontium ronelate, marketed as Prodilos or Protos by Servier, 
should be treated with caution when used to treat osteoporosis, as randomized trials have shown an increased risk of non-fatal myocardial infarction in patients with ischemic heart disease or uncontrolled hypertension patients. There is no increased risk of non-fatal myocardial infarction in healthy patients. Other forms of available strontium include strontium lactate, strontium gluconate, strontium carbonate, and strontium citrate. Food sources include spices, seafood, whole grains, root and leafy vegetables, and legumes. Strontium should not be taken with calcium supplements, to improve absorption. Osteopenia, from Greek sigma tau omicron nu, bone and pi epsilon nu alpha, poverty, is a condition of subnormally mineralized bone, usually the result of a rate of bone lysis that exceeds the rate of bone matrix synthesis. See also osteoporosis. Osteopenia was defined in June 1992 by the World Health Organization. A group of experts decided that condition would mean a bone density that was one standard deviation below that of an average 30-year-old white woman. The group also defined osteoporosis as bone density 2.5 standard deviations or more below that 30-year-old. Previously it had been used only in cases where elderly patients had fractured or broken a bone. An osteoporosis epidemiologist at the Mayo Clinic who participated in setting the criterion in 1992 said it was just meant to indicate the emergence of a problem, and noted that it didn't have any particular diagnostic or therapeutic significance. It was just meant to show a huge group who looked like they might be at risk. The definition has been controversial. Stephen R. Cummings, of the University of California, San Francisco, said in 2003 that there is no basis, no biological, social, economic or treatment basis, no basis whatsoever for using one standard deviation. Cummings added that as a consequence, though, more than half of the population is told arbitrarily that they have a condition they need to worry about.